stories that made the headlines recently. I am Jacinta Agochuku. This week, President Bola Tinubu visits United Arab Emirates raises hopes on lifting the visa ban. Also this week, Chicago State University confirms President Tinubu attended the institution, graduated in 1979. And later on the show, President Tinubu nominates Cardoso as CBN governor, names four deputies. All the details in a moment. Stay with us. Well, thank you for staying with us. We begin with the, uh, the end of the visa ban on Nigerians traveling to United Arab Emirates. President Bola Tunubu and the uh, President of the United Arab Emirates, Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahan in Abu Dhabi, finalized in the studio with me. And as well, I have Ni Saliu, a political analyst via Zoom. Welcome, it's Mr. Justice. It's my pleasure, as always. Mr. Nee, good evening and welcome to the show. Good evening, thank you for having me. All right, let me begin with you, Mr. Justice. You know, expectations rashly run high as Nigerians. We are eagerly expecting uh, the resumption of flight between these countries. But how do you react to this recent uh, report that is kind of contradicting the whole uh, excitement, you know, that there's no changes thus far based on the ban, visa ban lifting? Okay, for me, I think it is of little moment. Or I would have said it's of no moment. The fact that there was a ban in place and uh, leadership at the highest levels are now meeting to say, to, to, to see how to avert it and to expand the robustness of the economic cooperation, bilateral cooperation between Nigeria and the UAE is very, very commendable at the highest level. Even if it is done at the highest level, I expect because of uh, because I know that uh, the eyes and the T's will be dotted and crossed respectively. The foot soldiers, the ministers will now have to meet and uh, reconcile what needs to be done. The the banking uh, sector, for example, the CBN too, will now have to say, okay, all the monies that belong to Etihad or the other airlines that uh, is it the right time for us to release it so that they will be able to continue to do business. Because if all those are done, and I think that those are the ones that are left to be done, if all those are done, ultimately everything that has been decided at the highest level by the two presidents will be implemented. And for me, I think that the earliest that all those are done, the better for the economy of both countries. We know that the economics, people are, who are in the travel space, who are in travel agency business, they are really, really taking a hit. Tourism, too, has taken a hit, must have taken a substantial hit in the UAE because it's a lot of Nigerians. Nigerians are one of the uh, countries that most populate uh, their tourist industry. And of course, we should also take the opportunity to talk to Nigerians to conduct themselves better when they go to such countries because sometimes, it is, the, uh, it is the fact that they dabble into criminality high and above how other citizens of other countries dabble in criminality, maybe in Dubai, that will also be a contributory factor in such a ban. So you believe there is still need for agreement to be reached? For yes, at the, at the lower levels. The presidents have spoken, then the ministers, the heads of various agencies, the businesses, the CBN governor to release, release uh, necessary funds mm. that they are owing, not just the, the Dubai airlines, but other airlines so that they will also be okay. uh, uh, encouraged to continue business and also drop fares. For Nigerians. I hope Nigerians understand that. Let me move on to Lee. Lee, let's talk about the concept of the historic agreement that suggests a need for mutual benefit and commitment from both countries. What measures do you believe Nigeria should take to ensure the lifting of the ban becomes a reality? Well, natural has a lot. You know, uh, banning or uh, suspending our visas didn't just take place in one day. There were issues. And uh, I believe that aside the uh, 
visa ban lifting, there's other things to, you know, look out for. Nigeria should be looking out for the interest, mutual interest and as well investment. But 